The Accounts Receivable module in Dynamics GP allows me to easily analyze and manage my accounts receivable. Let's take a look at it. One thing that you'll want to do on a regular basis is to report on your open aging. So to do that, I'll go to Reports, go to Sales, look at my trial balance. I usually use Age Trial Balance with Options. I'm going to create a new option here, call it Summary. I don't want to see the details, so I'm going to unclick that. And I want to report it to the screen. So I'll make that selection here. And I want to include it in the My Reports area. So I'll click on that, select the default. And then let's just take a look at it. Let's print it out, print it to the screen. And we'll see what it looks like. Here's my summary aging. You can see I have buy accounts. I've got information on that particular account. And I've got the aging along to the right here. So let's say that as an option. And you can see how it's been added to my home page right here. Another task you may want to do is to apply open credits to transactions within your system. So to do that, I'm going to go to Transactions, Sales, and Apply Sales Documents. It brings up this screen here. Let me look up a customer. I'll select this one here because I know I have an open credit. And I'm going to apply a return to a particular document. So I can scroll through those documents. And I've got a return here. You see here it's for 1065. I'm going to apply it to a particular document. I'm going to apply it to this document here. Now when I do that, it's going to apply the credit to this open receivables. It's going to adjust the amount. And that transaction will stay there. If I need to go back and correct it, I can easily do that. Another common ta task is to accept cash receipts. So let's see how you record that in Dynamics GP. I'm going to go to Transactions, Sales, and Cash Receipts. It brings up this screen here. Let me look up the customer. And then I'm going to enter the payment information. I've got a check, and we'll say it's for $2,000 put the check number in, and I hit the apply button. I have the opportunity to hit auto apply. It's going to apply it by the due date or the document number, depending on how it's been set up in the system. In this case, I hit auto apply. It applied it to this document here. But say, for example, I didn't want to apply all of it here. I wanted to apply just part of it. I could easily change this amount here. Let me change it to $1,500. And it's going to remit, it'll apply $1,500 to this and leave the remaining on the open aging. You can see here I have an unapplied amount. Maybe I want to apply that to this item down here. I can do that. It'll leave this amount on account, and I can always go back at a later time and apply that credit. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I've got all the information for this particular payment. I could save it into a batch or post it online in real time. Another task I may need to do is to void a transaction. To do that, I can go to Transactions, Sales, and Post Transactions. Let me look up the cash receipt that I just did. So I'm going to look up the customer, and I'm going to select the document type, which was a payment. And I can scroll through here until I get to the number. Here's a payment right here. And all I need to do is then void that. I can select the void date and the posting date if it's different than the default. So I'm going to select void. And what that will do is reverse that transaction. It's still in the system. It maintains a complete audit trail. but allows me to void mistakes I might have. Perhaps I applied that payment to the wrong customer. I can easily reverse that. So you can see that the accounts receivable easily allows me to analyze my existing receivables and manage those receivables so that they reflect the current open receivables.